tonight. We have magic on the mic, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in, of course, to game number 70. I thought it was 71, yeah? Yeah, 71. And uh, yeah, we have a game three situation here. Of course, between the one and only Maiden and Evie there. These two had the privilege of fighting in grand finals at the battlefield on Monday this week, but semifinals here right now, so. A little bit difference of the caliber of play here. A lot of great players tonight at Gim. It was a tough bracket, that's for sure. Okay, and speaking of tough moves there, it's a nasty downer coming in. <laughs> big damage right away there. And uh, yeah, lots of patience. Oh no, that's big. Okay, not gonna get too much off that. Interesting. Maiden was saying they've been trying a lot of reverse up B to kind of cover that recovery at the same time of getting back on stage himself, you know. It's a smart setup. Not sure if it's too good against Sephiroth here, but... Oh, that's going to take the stock there. Nice job there from Maiden. Okay. Oh, love that down air. Reset to the grab. Holy, this is big damage right there. 50% in just a couple of seconds. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to get the Shadow Flare on the Ike. That's kind of scary. Uh, gonna take the free damage and giving an extension there for Evie. Catching the landing with a grab as well. Okay, we got the up airs though. Back on stage. Oh man. Once again, that pressure of the side B from Sephiroth, like, ah, not shielding it both times there, Maiden. I think maybe they just mistimed that directional air dodge landing. Woo! Okay, sorry, just looking at my phone for a second there. And I mean, still neutral game though, of course, you know, nothing too crazy, but it's looking like that's gonna definitely take the stock at the end. Right when the wing comes online as well, perfect timing there for Maiden to close out that game. You know, I was looking like a little bit of a scary spot there. You don't wanna give, you know, Sephiroth that crazy comeback mechanic. Also, just, uh, actually no, I'll announce that after after this set here, of course, but yeah, have you kind of laughing that one off. We're having a, a pretty exciting bracket here today, ladies and gentlemen. We do have some amateurs going on at the side there as well, but I know a lot of upsets. Uh, Hunger is out of the bracket already a little bit sooner than usual. Let's see here. Yeah, winner side, I know uh, Zyro, I believe, just beat Red 16. Yeah, 3-1. So Red is on loser side there. Oh, Hunger lost to Mister 2-1 there. So close set. You know, of course, that snake. You gotta be careful. Just like someone like Sephiroth here. Oh. Man, I don't know if you want to take Ike to PS2. I think it's like his best stage without a doubt here. And he gets a lot of mileage off of these platforms compared to other characters. Okay. And every time Maiden is on a platform, he is always doing a tumble aerial. Some kind, you know, either forward air and air. Hop air. Oh, most likely Nair, though. Let's be serious here. And the Shadow Flare going to connect to the back air. Oh, God. That was great from Abby. Perfect timing on that. Recognizing the opportunity, of course. She's got to be very familiar with that. Ooh, and the triple Nair is coming in. Great spot touch there from Maiden. You don't want to take any of those side Bs. It's just... Like, honestly, it, it gives ooh, a free neutral tool there for Sephiroth to kind of just take control, but... Big punish, though. Whoa, that was a weird interaction. <laughs> All right. Not looking too hot here compared to the first stock. Maiden still hasn't hit a single percent here. And Okay, making it through, getting some shield. Okay. I think it's time to just reset that neutral. There you go, going on the platform. Hmm. That's interesting. Maybe in this matchup, Maiden's liking the platform camp, but it's definitely like making it tough, not having a command grab for uh, Sephiroth there to kind of go and approach. All right, still Maiden really waiting for that opportunity, finding something there, but not getting too much off of it, but really great patience there. Okay, I like that. Rush down, dodge that F-tilt at the same time. That is, yeah. Looking a little too dangerous. Oh, this is a big opening, though. Wow. Oh, my God. Going for a back air there, but I think if Maiden got the Nair, the reset on the platform at the top of the screen, 
Oh my goodness. Getting a little bit high for the confirmed combos here, though. I think 90% on Seth with this amount of rage. Uh -oh. Although that could help. Oh, that's a big triple nair. I think there's no jump. Okay, but we're going to make it back. <laughs> Off a of spot dodge, getting a down tilt up air. Great stuff there from Maiden. Okay. Oh, no. This is a very tense situation right here. Like, Evie obviously can't lose this stock. Does not want to go to the loser's side to face Red 16. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, missing the grab there. That could be big. Getting a forward air off the down throw here. So this is a, I mean, Sephiroth, this percent. Oh, no. Oh, going for the back air there. That was so clean. The wing is online. Oh, my gosh. That was so scary. If that back air came out there, Evie was dead for sure. Evie's looking for something here, but damn. That's such a fast option. It really catches you off guard when you're just not spacing it. Your movement in the air there. Great stuff from Maiden.